Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be having a first impressions look at Iron Sight, a new free to play first person shooter developed by Whipple Games and published by Area Games. Now before we start, Iron Sight only has servers in North America and Europe. I generally get like a 250 ping from Australia, which is more than playable, but my internet has been ping spiking a lot lately, so you might see a little bit of lag in the gameplay. This is an issue on my end, not Iron Sight. For everybody else, the servers have been basically rock solid. So let's get right into the first impressions, and to start off, it's fairly apparent that Iron Sight is free to play Call of Duty, and I absolutely love it. The weapons, modes, maps, movement, everything screams the Call of Duty series, particularly Modern Warfare 2 and 3, as Iron Sight is a purely boots on ground game. There has been a massive gap in the free to play FPS scene. We have games like Black Squad that are like Counter Strike Global Offensive and thus more tactical in nature, but Iron Sight is a more fast paced type of game, a shoot em up type of game that I've personally been wanting ever since I quit Combat Arms. But with that said, Iron Sight is definitely not Combat Arms. Doing a direct comparison between the two games would be ill-advised, but Iron Sight, it's a game that goes and fills the void, it fills the hole that Combat Arms went and left ever since the game went so downhill. Even though the gameplay and the graphics and the maps and the modes, they're very different, the feel of the game is quite similar. You can go and play extremely fast paced, run and gun type of style, and really have no care in the world, and if you're skilled enough, you can go and do a lot of damage. But with that said, if you want to go and sit back with a sniper rifle, if you want to go and sit back with a light machine gun, you can go and do that as well. The game is really going to set it up that you can go and be as try hard as possible and you'll have fun. But you can also go and play quite casually and have a lot of fun. There's also a very big priority on community. There's clans, there's custom rooms, there is messenger, you can go and add people in game. I want to talk about that later on, however, because getting into the meat and potatoes of Einsight is what you guys are here for. So let's start out with the graphics. Einsight is not the best looking game out there. It would fit perfectly into a release schedule during 2012 and 2013. But I think everybody has been screaming from the rooftops that we care way more about performance than graphics. Free to play gamers in general have average of the bad PCs, and people like me with more decent computers want to go and maximize the FPS anyway, so we go and turn the graphics all the way down to low. Iron Sight goes and strikes the perfect balance. The graphics are appealing, even on low, and they're not distracting. And with that said, if you want to go and crank the graphics a little bit more, your FPS is still really solid. Take notes, Combat Arms. Gameplay. It's Call of Duty, and honestly, I don't know how to go and explain it other than that. The movement has that slightly sluggish feel that makes it feel more realistic rather than you're moving around just a box, you're moving around a real character. It's less like a generic Korean first person shooter and more along the AAA titles. The shooting is twitch focused with minimal recoil and low hit fire spread. There's also regenerating health which I'm a really big fan of. The reason why is because this game wants you to go and make very big plays, and if you barely survive, you'll be A-OK -okay to get back into the fight after chilling out for a little bit. In other first person shooters, if you go and make a very big play, and you're down to 5-10 to 10 HP, the best you can do is play all the way back at the back of the map and try to go and pick off a person with a sniper rifle or something along those lines. But because Iron Sight doesn't go and take itself as seriously as tactical as a game like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, it goes and gets you back into the fight a lot quicker, and that's reminiscent with the really, really fast respawn timers as well. Barely a second in Team Deathmatch and you're back onto the battlefield. This trio of game elements fundamentally changes the way I play this game in comparison to Black Squad or Black Shot or AVA etc because regenerating health is the big big key one here. It's only in one free to play first person shooter and it's this one. But Iron Sight's a game that goes and does a lot of stuff differently in terms of customization, in terms of progression, and I wanted to go and hop in game to show you guys because I can't really explain it without some visual backing. Alright, so we're in-game, and before I go and talk about the progression and the loadouts and the killstreaks and all that, I want to quickly show the matchmaking, because it's pretty simple. You hit play, and here you've got match, you just press settings, and you can go and choose which modes you don't want to go and play. I don't want to play s and I want to go and get a lot of kills. Hit apply, and then boom, you can hop right into it, and there's also custom games. 
Alright, so we're in the loadout right now, and the progression system for Iron Sight is pretty cool in my opinion. Like a lot of other free-to-play first-person shooters, in order to go and unlock weapons, what you have to go and do is spend in-game currency or real-life money. So if we go to this Famush G2 right here, in order to go and buy it, I either have to spend 110000 to go and get it for permanent, or if I want the 7-day version, I spend 13000 and boom, the weapon's mine. But if I didn't want to go and spend in-game currency, I could go and spend real life money. And with this Famush G2 Arctic, I can go and buy it with chips. And as you can see, that's the permanent version. Now, if you look in the top right hand corner, there, I've already got six chips. And I didn't realize this, I had real life money. But if you go here, when you log in, you know, you can go and get... 12 days are logged in, 5 more chips, 5 more chips, and you know, eventually it'll go and add up where you could go and buy one of these skinned weapons. Games like Paladins goes and gives, you know, real life money to you for consecutive logins, and this game goes and does it as well, and I think that's really cool in order to go and get people to continue to play your game. But what Iron Sight does is it entices you to go and play more in order to go and unlock attachments for free. So I've got this K2C right now, and in order to go and get all the attachments, like Call of Duty, you have to go and play the game quite a lot. So if we go to this quick shot site, I could go and spend 100,000 gold, basically the same as another weapon, and get it. Or I could go and spend real life money, or I could go and get it. Or I could just keep playing with the weapon and get this weapon up to level 13 and then that quick shot would, uh, quick shot sight would be mine. Same with the silencer, got to get the level 23. So the game encourages you in order to go and play the game by giving you these attachments for free, like Call of Duty. It's taking the system that has been in the many, many iterations of that series and then implementing it in a free-to-play form. And I think that's really, really nice because there's a lot of attachments, your free slots, and you can really go and make the weapon yours. Same with the secondary, same with the lethals and all that type of stuff. But moving over to the right hand side, you can see here we've got the drone. And this is basically the score streaks. Now they're not kill streaks. You've got to really, really be careful to not kill streaks. Because here in this game, if you go and die in the middle of a streak, it doesn't matter. You just want to go and get as many points as possible in order to go and use these. So you've got offensive. And you've got defensive. Offensive is all these really, really powerful explosive abilities. You've got a striker drone, which is like an airstrike. You've got a hellbird, which is like a chopper gunner. You've got this metal reaper, which is massive juggernaut thing that drops down and has mini guns and missile launcher. Pretty cool indeed. And it takes quite a lot of points to go and get these. Then you have the tactical drones, which are like the UAV, the counter UAV, stuff like that. But they also have perks, and the perk system's pretty simple. You just have three perks that you can go and use. They're called skills in this game. As you can see, they're swapping out the names a little bit, you know, copyright and whatnot, but that's okay. First one, you've got like quick reload, quick aim, balance, quick switch, nimble hands, stuff like that. Pretty cool. But going over to the character, you can go and buy characters, and of course, you can go and buy them with in-game currency. And some of the more cool ones right here, some, some of the more cool ones here, you can go and buy with real life money. As you can see, that's co costing quite a bit. You've got clans as well, you can search for clans, you can go and create clans. You've got actually quite a lot of clans here already, you can go click here, you can go and join them, and they can go and so you send an inv invitation and all that type of stuff. I also want to quickly talk about the maps and modes. The maps in Iron Sight are fairly symmetric. There's a lot of light and sights for short range, medium range, and long range combat. So regardless of what weapon you're using, you can have a kind of a fun time. But the game is more centered on that close quarters combat. Hence why the emphasis is put on the assault rifles and the submachine guns over everything else. But with that said, one thing I really, really enjoy, and I wish more casual games have this, is flipping spawns. The fact that if you push too far into an enemy spawn, the spawns will go and flip and they will be behind you. And that extra element really goes and means that you can never get spawn camped. You can get spawn camped for like 15 seconds and then the game will think, okay, too many people dying in the spawn, let's go and change up the gameplay a little bit. So overall, the map design isn't too unique, it's just functional in the way it plays out. But the problem right now, and yes it is closed beta, so I'll give it a little bit of slack. There isn't enough maps, and there isn't enough modes. There isn't enough content in the actual gameplay part of the game. In terms of the weapons and the customization and the kill streaks, score streaks, sorry, it's there. 
but when you only have a very very small handful of maps and only three modes to go and play with that's where the game is lacking right now Playing Team Deathmatch, I will keep playing Team Deathmatch to the day I die. I absolutely love that mode. Search and Destroy is there. And Secure, it's still a pretty cool objective type of mode. But we need more down the line. Now, obviously, with a closed beta, there's only a small amount of actual people playing the game. So that's why they've kept it small. But with that said, down the line, I definitely want more maps, more modes from the Korean version being put in this game. So let's go and talk quickly about the problems with Iron Sight. And there is quite a few small issues, but these issues compound, and overall they do have a bit of a negative experience on the gameplay. The please know it is in closed beta, so I'm not going to give it the biggest grilling, but I did want to go and point these out. The first one is the spawns. The spawns, I said, with the flipping and all that, it's great, but sometimes it's a little bit too early, and sometimes they flip a little bit too late, and that really goes and ruins the flow. If it's too early, it feels like you're getting flanked. If it's too late, it feels like you're getting spawn camped. Trying to go and get that buttery golden zone is quite difficult, and they have to go and fine-tune that a little bit. Another problem that definitely has a significant effect on my gameplay is that the colours of my enemies blend in quite well to the colours of the map. So a lot of the time, I'll go over an enemy thinking it's just a piece of random terrain, and then other times, I'll go and lock onto a piece of random terrain, thinking it's an enemy. Now this can be easily fixed by changing the colour palette of the enemies, and it really only affects me on the more dusty type maps, where they blend in really well. On more of the indoory type maps, it's really, really easy to point out what's an enemy and what isn't, but on some of the maps, it does have a bit of an effect. My only other issue with the game is the fact that when I try to go and log in, sometimes I'll go and get a black screen simulator. And at the moment, nobody's really gone and posted a message about why this is happening or if there's going to be an ETA for a fix. Sometimes it fixes itself, sometimes it doesn't, but I haven't really got a message from the higher ups of area games. But that type of communication through Discord definitely needs to be improved. If you guys enjoy this game, I'm doing a little bit of a giveaway. There's a link in the description below to the giveaway video. Click that, you go and have to do some gleam or you can post a comment and I'll go and pick some winners and all that type of stuff. But with that said, Iron Sight is just a really, really fun game. And I'm not being biased in any way, shape or form. Yes, I'm quote unquote sponsored by Area Games, but let me make our relationship very clear. The deal is very, very simple. There's a link in the description below. If you guys go and click that link and you sign up for an account and you guys spend real life money on this game, I go and get a little bit of a kickback. But if you go and download the game with my link and all that type of stuff and you absolutely hate it, I make nothing off it. So there's no point in me clickbaiting you in order to go and download this game because if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't make any extra money because the people that would enjoy it would enjoy it and the people that don't enjoy it, still wouldn't enjoy it. So in the end of it, why wouldn't I be honest? And I've always been honest on this channel. And that's why I took this deal rather than other companies that try to go and say, here's $500, $1,000, shill out for this game and tell us how good it is, uh, tell your fans how good it is. I won't do that because I think this is much more fair. If you guys enjoy the game and you want to spend money on it, it helps me. But if you guys don't want to spend money on it, then in the end of it, it's all good. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating and comment in the comment section below what your first impressions of Iron Sight are from watching this video and from watching this gameplay. And of course, there's the giveaway and all that type of stuff. Links will be in the description below. Bye, Vernats. Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.